going on guys? Back today, another video, not another dollar. I don't get paid for this nonsense. Woo! Who cares? This car, I believe, has axle flake. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't notice, I got most of the rear interior. Oh, and that's my trunk prop because the struts are blown. Um, anyway, so cool. I got that from a local dude. Shout out. I forget who, what your name is, but thank you a lot. He hooked me up for, with it for free, so I'm super appreciative. Makes the car infinitely quieter, which is nice. So today, we're addressing the axle flake that the car has. And it's kind of annoying when you go around corners, you kind of hear it go click, 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 click. Um, it's really faint now that the uh, car has an interior. Squeak, 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 crinkle, crinkle. Nope. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but it goes click, 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 click. Now up, I'm gonna run down to Harbor Freight, go pick up some new welding wire and some spot weld bits to work on the FC with. Uh, we're doing some stuff behind the scenes that you guys will see in a few videos probably. Um, but today, we're dressing axle click. See you guys in a minute. Peace. Alright, so to do this job, we're going to need a breaker bar with a 32 millimeter axle nut socket, um, just a normal impact socket for me, either one works. You're going to need stuff to remove your wheels, uh, light impact kind of comes in handy, obviously the right size socket, and if you have a wheel adapter thing because you got weird lug nuts, something like that. A pair of pliers, uh, you'll need this for cotter pins if you have to deal with them, a uh, 17 and 19 millimeter wrench. Need this to drop your uh, spring perch bucket down out of the way so you can clear enough room to slide the axles in and out. Uh, a hammer. This is just a coercion tool. Uh, it's nice to help remove your axles if they're stuck uh, in the spines, like if they've seized to the uh, spindle. Uh, 14s, various sizes. I'm using an electric ratchet, a couple other 14 millimeters. These are to remove the axle nuts from the pumpkin. Um, and some cutter pins. And that's really all the tools that you're going to need to do this job. Pretty straightforward. We're gonna start the job off by removing the wheel. I've already done the driver's side, just so I have an idea of what the project takes. Honestly, this is a short afternoon project for anybody who is mechanically inclined. If you aren't, it's still not a bad project. It's not scary. It's really not that bad. Suspension works actually pretty easy. So with that being said, let's get started and let's remove that wheel. Okay, that's not even tight. What? Okay. Tight. Not tight. Make sure you check your lug nuts, guys. These weren't tight at all. That's probably where some of my noise came from. Once those are removed, time to remove our axle nut.
Okay, so this is the axle out of the car, and this is the end that we're working with. So sometimes there's this little ring that gets stuck on here, a little bit of a flat tip screwdriver, and you stick it way down in there and just pry it apart. And it will eventually work its way off, because you're looking to get this thing off. Um, and then what we're looking for is all of this red junk right here is like rust buildup. So we're going to take a wire brush like so, and just give her a nice little clean up, turn her back to silver. A little glob of grease. Now we're not trying to grease the splines, we're just trying to grease this little lip right here. Right around it, right where that little ring sits. And that's it, this, this is literally it. Now we just gotta put everything back together. So this thing slips on like so, nice and quiet now. We're gonna throw our gloves back on because we don't need to be getting all gross. Okay, now that you've got everything greased, the one last thing that you gotta remember to do is we're supposed to flip the axle over 180 degrees and we should have marked this beforehand, so I'm just gonna guess my best because I forgot, but pro tip to you guys, just mark it with like a Sharpie and then you can see that you flipped it over and then we're gonna retorque it down. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get this sucker back in the car. So this sucker needs to be tightened to 177 foot-pounds, and it's a 32 millimeter like I said earlier. So I've got my breaker bar here, and it's set basically as high as it can go. Throw your park brake on and put the thing into like fourth gear or something like that to hold. Super surprised that that actually worked as well it did or as well as it did I think I've already got the lineup to fix my driver's side axle which has some really really bad torn CV boots and then maybe I'll see if I can repair the CV boots at a later date so because Dalton said that he had an extra uh, CV or not a CV an extra axle that I can get off of him so that's super super cool and yeah so anyway remember like comment subscribe thanks for watching guys yeah i don't know that's it remember to like comment subscribe thanks for watching guys i massively appreciate the support from everybody keep watching there's more to come we're gonna go slide this car soon and i'm super excited for it peace do 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 do